Hello everybody, my name is Rune Eldred. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Zero. All right, let's get going. Let's start walking. Come on, Billy. You oversized piece of meat. Let's go. I'm gonna play as Billy, actually. Um, let's split up. Roger. I'm trying to remember the controls for this because even though I've played this very recently, it's kind of slipping my memory of what I was supposed to do. All right. So, she has most of the weaponry I want. Um, yeah, I want to keep him with the rocket launcher. Come on, this way. Um, Let's regroup. Okay. I'll go alone. Roger. Come on. No, okay. come on. I need, to, I need to quit hitting stuff. All right, um, third floor. Third floor is where I need to be, I think. The way to where I want to go is this way. I don't remember. But I need to go up to the room with the clock. Or at least send Billy up there. And this is the way. To send just Billy. I'll send just Billy up there, solve the clock puzzle, and have Rebecca wheel Billy back down. I'll go. Yeah. Back on there. All right, let's regroup. We gotta go okay. together. Come on. I gotta remember my way up there now. I remember it's the way through the centipede, but I don't remember which doorway I have to use. I actually think it's not this way. It's back this way. Over here, through this door. But uh, welcome back everybody, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first two episodes of Resident Evil Zero as we breeze through this on our way to Resident Evil 2's remake. I just got done filming, or not filming, but uh, live streaming the Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo which was really really good. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys can click the card up here, it'll take you to my live stream that I did of that. And uh, it was interesting, like it was really really interesting, I liked it. I'm going the wrong way. Um, this will take me one of the ways, but it's not the way I need to go. Gotta run past that zombie. I know there's nothing down there that I need. I already picked up the shotgun that Billy's using. I should learn how to aim real quick. It's upstairs, the room to the right. I remember now, all right. Such daunting music, I love it. These old Resident Evil games have good atmosphere and after playing the remake of Resident Evil 2, I could even say that Resident Evil 2 had a really great atmosphere as well. The second you play as Leon and you have to go under the door and like try to find your way through, dude, that had such great tension to it. Oh no. That's where my thought process is right now. I keep thinking about the demo. Okay. Shit. Be fighting anything. I've already cleared through this area. Dude, these fixed camera angles, though. I like them and I hate them at the same time because with the fixed camera angles, dude, it's all clunky, kind of. But I love it. It adds great tension. And horrible walking. I think my camera stand was blocking the view, but I think there was a green plant back there. Like, my the peg to my camera goes down, I guess, at this angle. I gotta remember, everything's kind of flip-flopped. Oh, no. A lot on my mind. Let's go hit this clock up. Use, if I remember right, the password was 815. So let's move the minute hand to the right. That's 1205, 1210, 1215. 
11, 15, 10, 15, 9, 15, 8, 15. Ah, the doors unlocked themselves. All right, we're going to run back now. Hmm. My brain's trying to work out the puzzle of all this. I know where the first door that unlocked is. Whip. And head down. I want to control Billy right now because Billy has the shotgun. And I don't want to waste the rounds that I could be using. I want to save here as well because I'm not sure what comes up ahead. And at least knowing that I don't have to run back to the clock is a little bit of a sweet savior for me. Rebecca has the ink. And since I've already saved once during this playthrough, I don't really care how many times I save. So let's overwrite. This would be our 11th save. Done 11 saves within the first two missions of the game. You can tell I'm paranoid about having to die and start over from the last save point. Alright, let's go back up the stairs. Come on. Over this way. Head up over here. And in through the clock door. I always expect there to be a jump scare behind the doors. Alright, okay, she does have ammo. Get back down. Alright. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone. The pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Poetry. <sighs> shotgun shell, shotgun shell, shotgun all the way. I really want the shotgun shells. Yep, yep, hooray. That is the quickest shotgun reload ever. carry this right now. Um, that looks to be really important. So let's let's see what we can sacrifice here. It's microfilm A. Rebecca can pick it up. Come on, Rebex. Alright, let's grab this. Microfilm B. Yes. We have microphones A and B. Um, I'm pretty sure that's good. I'm pretty sure I needed both films. 
Alright, let's go this way. Head down the stairs. Let me look at the map real quick. Second floor. First floor. Uh, key goes to the hallway. Save room. That door right there leads to the bathroom. That one leads there. So I already know what I need to go where I need to go. Alright. Let's go this way. Go through the other door that unlocked, which is over this way. I don't want to go into the bathroom even though the herbs are kinda of worth it. I don't want to deal with the weird grassy creature. Alright, let's open this door. A lot of off-screen deaths. Alright, come on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could play the microfilms here. Yeah, actually, that's a good thing. And Rebecca be that way I'll just walk right here it's a microfilm projector if you had some microfilms you could view the contents on screen use set oh can I can I reselect view It's a picture of a room somewhere. That's the training room. Inset. Right. Let's cancel. Put Rebecca up in here. Insert. B. One, zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Seats. Right. Microfilm image. An image resulted from the overlay microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. So I have to go back to the conference room. Cool. Alright, let's go. Let's buoy this up. Hopefully I don't have to go back that way because all that was back there is a bathroom so that zombie should be locked back here permanently. I'm going to save again just in case I have another encounter because Billy is all out of shotgun ammo. There's a typewriter. Record data. Yes. This would be perfect time for Billy to have his combat knife in all honesty. Like I should really have Billy keep the knife with him. But the knife doesn't really work like it does in the other games. Like in this one, you just stab them with it. It's not like it actually helps them kick off the people. We'll trade up. Here we 
go. Up this way. Over here. Let's walk into the conference room where I could easily save it in there too, I guess. There we go. I don't know what I did. That's what I do. The front door Let's out of here. Okay. Let's uh, look at the map before we decide to go anywhere. Boom, that's a whole new area for the training facility. Maybe this could be... No, not Follow what me. I wanted. Okay. That's what I wanted. I want to see how her health is too. It's out of caution. I'm use my herbs now. What's further down this hallway? Let's to another room. Let's go in here. If things get too gruesome, I'll just equip Billy with the grenade launcher. Another puzzle. Take the ink ribbons. Napalm grenades. That's going to be useful. That's a chess board. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. Shit. We're both 
of poisoned. I don't know how to get rid of poison. There's nothing else I can do. I got poisoned at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed. moving the wrong piece. Come on. You stay here. Okay. Nope, I died. Hmm. Unlock the Book of Evil. Alright. Can I have it, please? Ugh. Billy, how's your inventory look? Yeah, open the slot. Yes, you do. Come on, Billy. Be good for something. Okay, let's take the book. We got the book of Evo. Yes, I want it. Something more here. Marcus's diary, December 4th. We finally did it, the new virus. We have called it progenitor. progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately, March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th, Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all of the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks the progenitor is nothing more than a fully, than a money spending tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it could only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop progenitor, I must straighten my own position too. September 19th, at last, I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on more road on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th, at last they are ready, my wonderful leeches. These of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Now finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The device I set to protect my work has been distribu distributed. Disturbed. Wow, I can't read today. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering. 
around the entrance to the labs. <clears throat> if that is what they are after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are all. To those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my chest rewards. Well, I guess he got what he wanted. I want to switch into Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. And full. Not so full. Exit. I think in the first Resident Evil game, there's a doorknob that could fall off. Oh shit. Come on, Billy, don't be down. I dealt with that properly. First aid spray. This is first investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still at full. We have just started and there is a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed and produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, and not because of the accident, more a result of plain mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green and red. Stripping agent. Red and blue. First investigation noted. Hmm. The another is. Any other kind? Okay, I got green in there already. Making a dumb choice. I'm gonna check it twice. Find out who's in serving vodka and nice. Okay. I'm in an herbal mix. I was hoping to find... I'll take the first aid spray. Health is more needed anyways. I mean, ammo is very needed. <sighs> Alright, we'll go through the two giant doors. So I wonder what's on the giant doors on the other side. So I think I know my way out of here now to get out of the training facility and pass this mission finally, which has taken me two videos to do this one mission area. Billy, 
you're gonna do the honors since you have the book. Let's uh, let's examine book of pure evil. Open the book. Dun 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 dun. There's something inside. It's a black wing. All right. She has spare room on that side. Of course not. Okay. I'll go alone. Roger. Okay. We are gonna drop this ink ribbon. Because the ink ribbons, I don't mind leaving them around because they're like one of the most commonly found items in Resident Evil. Okay. Follow me. Yeah. Try this again. I wish to exchange this for your free spot. Pull it. There you go. Yes. Yes. Cool. Now that the statues are unbalanced again, let me just combine that and that, that, and use that. Boom, they're balanced. <gasps> What's that? Marcus is going to disappear? Dun, 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 dun. Taking ribbon. Yes. Yes. Alright, there's one more area in this entire thing that we have not explored. And I'm wanting to go and check it out, which is the two night doors that are up here. Uh oh. I had a feeling something's gonna come up. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> there better be something worthwhile behind that door. I'm just saying, because I haven't saved in a while. I believe this is the way out of here. I'll go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is the way out of here. The door is locked, but I see a keyhole anywhere. That's 
Right, there's a message carved into control of the three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Yeah, I know what I'll they are. Over there. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's not where I need to be. So let's get up and out of here. I know what the three fundamental principles of Umbrella are. They're the um, cooperation, dignity, unity, or some shiz like that. I forget what they are by word now. Okay, I guess that was all I needed to do for now. I can't believe I wasted all those shots, dude. Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention and not being smart about it. If I was smarter about it, I wouldn't have wasted all those, all those shots. Pretty sure I re-picked up the ink. Billy, do you have the ink? Billy has the ink. Exchange. Oh. Here we go. There's a typewriter. Record data. Loading. Please don't turn off your console. Yeah, let's resave here because I am low on ammo. I am very, very low on ammo. I only have a handgun and literally two nap napalm strike kits. Ta-da! Um, Billy, maybe you should re-equip the shotgun. I don't need you wasting those precious bullets. It's solidly built wired mesh. Despite its age, it shows no signs of decay. Cool. What about on this side of the research facility? What's this? So it looks like it's getting get any power. All right, so there's like missing power here. The bridge has collapsed in the middle beyond the purse piece. You see nothing but pitch darkness. Cool. All right, looks like we have no choice. We have to go down the portrait hole. Such a fun way of saying it, portrait hole. Gotta go down the portrait hole. Here we go. Down the portrait hole. And let's turn. Oh no, not turn. We need to go upstairs and down. My shin hurt as soon as she started walking down the stairs. Like my. Oh shit! What the fuck? I'll 
go check over there. Yeah. Follow me. No, yeah. we go together. We go together like shibbity do ba ba do ba ba da. Can I not open this room? Okay, it's locked. Alright, let's open the wooden door. I don't think I'm in the training facility anymore. Now I'm still in the training facility. We're just in the dungeon part of the training facility. You know, where the really creep, creepy, kinky stuff happens. Correctional Institute inmates list. Matthew K. Deceased, disposed, complete. Midge D. Deceased, disposed, complete. Keith W. Preserved as specimen. Savage C. Transported to research facilities. Royce M. Transported to research facility. David A. Preserved as specimen. Clark A. Transported to research facility. Ellen's J. Transported to research facility. Terrence O. Deceased, disposed, completed. <sighs> Yeah, okay. Oh, Kate A. Transported to Arclay Laboratory. Gary O. Disease Disposed Complete. Travis S. Transported to Research Facilities. Mitch, Carrie, Roberts. The Arclay Research Facility is the first game, right? Yeah, if I remember correctly. Facility Basement. B1, B2, B3. Alright. You stay here. Okay. No, I want him to come with. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, I have two spare slots here anyway, so I might as well pick up Green Herb. Blue Herb. All right, let's head through the door. Let's venture forth a little bit. We've only been doing this for 48 minutes, so I can spare at least 10 more. Hmm. Right, let's see what happens if I get a boost. I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. What's in here? All right, what's gonna attack me now? I completely forget. Oh, it's one of them dungeons. About the power regulator, due to recent lightning strike, the power regulators continue to be inoperative. It would really matter. It wouldn't really matter about the power, except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. The equipment is so run down. It will probably have. I'll probably have to have it fixed up. The time, if you wish to exit rapidly, set the end. Exit rapidly. Set the indicator to seventy. To the chain. Supply control panel. No, make sure everything is adjusted to the chain. It's locked. Okay, maybe I do just set this to seventy. Sure, why not? Um, ooh. All right, let's think about this. Oh. 
Oops. Nope. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Um. Let's keep that one down. Say switch up. Up. Down. Alright. I'm maybe not just getting this puzzle. First switch. Flip the first switch. Let's stay down. Down. Flip the third switch up. Next switch. Oh. How far does that take it down? That takes it down all the way. What about up, 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 down? What happens if I do it that way? Six switch. Up. Third switch. Go up. Down. Down. Okay, so that one. Ha. Huh. I'm trying to think about this. All right. Let me lean in close. 50, 50, 50. Huh. So the 50 mark. How far do you put me on the 50 mark? Okay. So it's just reverse it on that side. So instead, it stops here. So here's the 50 mark. They'll bring me up one. So let's let's go down one. Down. Sorry that I'm out of camera. Up. Up. I'm on to something. Up. Up. Down. Up. I should move it just one. Up. There we go. Now I know the patterns. Yeah. 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 Huh. Ooh, another movie. You are wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. <laughs> Crap. Technicality, Rebecca just got infected. Oh, fun. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? 
Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. I can't. Hold on. Oh. Dude, that's not even funny. I have, like, no weapons as Billy. Basement facility. Really? Alright, so maybe if I run all the way back to the monitor room and like dodge any enemy I can. Run back and save Rebecca. I okay, made it past the first baboon. Baboon. Baboon? Kill the baboon in two hits. If not, I don't know what to do. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna have to figure something out in the next episode. Probably end up giving Billy the pistol so that way I can shoot through them. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Resident Evil Zero. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episodes and as I breeze through Resident Evil 1. I'm probably going to turn these into a live stream when it gets closer to Resident Evil 2 remake coming out. So have a wonderful day, night, rest, lunch, and whatever time do you guys are watching this. I have 30 seconds to finish out this exit. exit. So if you haven't hit the uh, bell button to be notified when videos come out, do it. Click the uh, in-screen annotations, it'll send you to some videos. The top one will send you to the latest video I did. The bottom one will send you to Resident Evil 2's one-shot demo. Toodaloo, everybody!